What is up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to another edition of Sooner Softball Instant Reaction as the Sooners win 6-1 to one tonight. Before we get started this video, uh, first off, subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that. And then also go to thefanstop.com. Uh, go check out their Shirt of the Month Club. If you use code SURGE, you'll get 10% off your first three months. Uh, go check that out for us. And Hunter, let's get right into it. We did a video yesterday previewing this game. And it didn't take long for T.R.E. Jennings to get OU on the board. We got one right. We called it. Uh, but I, I, I will say this. We also – one thing I said had to happen, I think, getting off to a good start, they did. And didn't need a whole lot of run support tonight because Kelly Maxwell was dealing. Yeah, uh, we finally got one right and agreed. That's a, a rarity for both. It was seemed like, at least for me, uh, not sure about you, can't remember, I was getting every single standout prediction wrong. It was just somebody else would overshadow it. But Tiara Jennings on an absolute tear right now. Uh, if you're not keeping track, she's closing in on that Lauren Chamberlain home run, uh, second on the all-time home run list. And right now she's at 13, has 11 doubles on the year. Uh, extra base machine. We said it at the beginning of the year. We've said it for years. It seems like Tiara Jennings, it's more extra base hits than anybody uh, need to check out the standings on that because she's got to be closing in there as well because just the amount of doubles she has. And, yeah, Kelly Maxwell, one out away tonight from a no-no. Uh, it got broke up with a home run by Campbell Bagshaw, the best hitter for KU. So uh, it's just unfortunate. Was over 100, 100 pitches. You started to feel, okay, this is – is she going to be able to get this no-no done? getting tired and just hung one over the plate that was set back to center field. Yeah, and she pitched great, complete game. Uh, I think that's big for Oklahoma, too, just her going the whole game. Uh, and nine strikeouts, really good performance from Kelly Maxwell. And then offensively, you mentioned Jennings. Uh, it's crazy because Jennings is on a tear, but at the same time, Alina Torres is uh, hitting the ball really well. Another home run for Alina Torres, and then Sanders got in the – Got in it too and got a home run. That's three home hey. runs. And this was not against the pitcher who has not allowed a home run. I yes. I expect that'll be tomorrow night. But yes. three not, three more home runs from from Oklahoma. Six runs all together. A six one victory. Uh, just a great performance in a really good environment. I, I mean, I thought this was a great crowd. Uh, it was. I mean, I thought uh, just that. I, I've never been to that stadium. It looked like a great place to watch a softball game. Yeah, uh, Sydney Sanders can go yard outside of Love's Field. Uh, it finally happened. And Alina Torres now, five home runs in the last 11 games. She has Correct. seven on the year. Uh, just an insane stretch. Uh, and, and, yes, uh, tonight for Kansas, they threw Casey Hamilton, who is their second-best pitcher, uh, 228 ERA. And uh, would expect Katie Brooks tomorrow. You would have to assume that's the – uh, ace for Kansas, best pitcher, has not allowed a home run, as you uh, mentioned a moment ago. So you would have to expect that she gets the start tomorrow as they look to try to even this thing up uh, against Oklahoma. And interesting tonight, three home runs. Those were the only extra base hits for the Sooners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a whole lot other than that. And uh, you look at it, Hunter, you mentioned Brooks tomorrow night. I mean. The question's going to be, is OU going to go with Deal or May? And I think that's the question people are wondering. We'll find out. Uh, I, I did find it interesting. Hanson, another pinch hit. Uh, yeah. not, that that kind of tells me, Hunter, she's probably almost back. And I, I think probably the Texas series may be full, full will be full back. But uh, I, I like seeing her out there getting at least pinch hit and, and getting some action at the plate. I think that's good. Uh, so good to see that for sure. Yeah, it was nice to see Kenzie Hanson get that opportunity. She made it on base uh, by air. So uh, good for her. You have to like the signs of that. And uh, one thing looking at the box score, kind of a, just an off night, I would say, almost for Oklahoma. I mean, they put up six runs, yeah. three home runs, but only two walks tonight. Very limited on the strikeouts. They only struck out twice. But usually it's – if they're not hitting the ball a lot, they had nine hits tonight. They're getting on base by walk, and, and that wasn't the case tonight. Yeah, a little bit under their normal amount there for sure. 
Uh, but th- that's what's crazy with this team, Hunters. They they score six runs, uh, which is in a lot of teams' aspect. That's a or you know that's that's a great yeah. night. Yeah. And hey, it is. It was a good night for Oklahoma. Six one victory, and not a run rule. But this is a ranked opponent. Okay, this is a team that's red hot in Big Twelve. We talked about it in the pregame video. Who they beaten? They swept Baylor. They swept Houston. Those are two teams that are performing that, that you would say are decent teams in the Big Twelve. I mean, I know Baylor's kind of cold uh, right now, but I Houston took them from Texas, so I would put them above that decent category. Yeah, I, I, I just would those really. as those are good teams in the Big Twelve. Those are teams that are got to be in the NCAA tournament. Those are teams to watch out for, and Kansas six and zero in their last six before tonight in the Big Twelve with the sweeps over Baylor and Houston. Well, and Hunter, I, we've talked about this before too. Looking at OU's record in the last two years, I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, you can't even fathom how good it is. I mean, two, two losses, two, two losses, losses, and you're not. I, I'm you're not beating Oklahoma. Nobody is unless OU, I think, helps you or you have a pitcher that just dominates Oklahoma and shuts them down. Otherwise, I think OU is going to have to help you a little bit, either in the field or they're going to have to have a pitcher not have a great game and kind of get uh, get down early because right now it just doesn't happen very often, obviously two times in the last two years. So I think OU right now, they've kind of hit a, I would say, hit a stride offensively and I mean, pitching wise, looking at it, I mean, it seems like now uh, a lot of the, like even Maxwell, when she did struggle, it was in relief. I mean, her starting when she started, she's been really good, Hunter. Yeah. And tonight, to uh, battle through it to get the complete uh-huh. game, uh, 111 pitches for Kelly Maxwell. Yeah. And she gave up a home run in the last out of the game. They're down to their final out, gives up that home run to dead center, and then walks another batter, fourth walk of the night. And then final at bat, uh, that prompts a mound visit from Jen Rocha. Final at bat, able to get out of it and complete the complete game for Kelly Maxwell. That's impressive to be able to uh, battle through that adversity. You could tell she was getting tired. 111 pitches is a lot, and uh, I, I think that mound visit from Jen Rocha is just massive to get her head back into it, be able to get a quick out to end it not have to go to somebody else out of the pen. Yeah, and, you know, one thing we haven't talked a whole lot about this year with Maxwell transferring in is the fact that it makes a huge difference being on a team where you're not having to feel like you have to shut them down to nothing to win a game. And I I, I really do think that's almost like a – I wouldn't say relief, but it is kind of like, well, they're like, oh, you scored early runs again. And I know Kelly Maxwell's probably thinking – this is great. Got to lead. I mean, it's not like fighting every – I mean, not that she's not focusing to yeah. you know, try to dominate, okay. but it's just a little bit of – I would say yeah. a little bit of pressure lifted, you know? Any time you get an early lead, Oklahoma put up five runs in the first two innings. Yeah. Uh, for a pitcher, it, your life is a million times easier uh-huh. because, I mean, all, all it is is if it's a tie game, it's one pitch. That's you right. One bad pitch hung over the plate. They deposit it into the outfield bleachers, and you're down. So Kelly Maxwell being able to have the run support that she has from Oklahoma. Tiara Jennings bombed in the first inning, uh, five runs in the first two innings, to be able to just alleviate that pressure to where, yeah, she's still going to strive to be perfect. She almost was tonight. Mm-hmm. Nearly had a no hitter. and uh, But just to not have to worry about, okay, one pitch can change this game as you get just uh, a great uh, pat on the back from the Sooners offense. Yeah, and, and there you have it. OU, opening game of the series, takes it 6-1. to one. Maxwell, 9Ks, three bombs from Jennings, Sanders, and Torres. Maxwell, a one-hit complete game uh, victory. Uh, game two tomorrow night. Appreciate you guys watching this video, as always. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like and comment on the video. We appreciate it. Till next time, Boomer.